call to order the Budget and Finance Committee meeting for January 21st, 2020. Um, the first item on the agenda is Resolution RS-2020-149. Um, sponsors Mendez Pulley Hancock appropriates $587,900 from the General Fund Reserve Fund of the General Services District for the benefit of Davidson County Sheriff's Office. Um, and that uh, resolution is the lead sponsor. I'm withdrawing that. So we'll go to the next item. Uh, resolution RS 2020 157 modifies the master list of architects and engineers originally approved by resolution number RS 94 1050. Sponsors Mendes, Mendez, Henderson, and Hurt. Is there a motion? All right, that's been moved and seconded. Councilmember Allen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The reason we deferred this was largely because there were just some questions on, on how well we make known to other um, engineering and architecture organizations and, and uh, companies that this list exists and that they want to be, that they need to be on it if they want to work as a prime for Metro. Um, and that, that question was answered to some degree in, I believe, Public Works, which I appreciate. And I, I just want to point out that as an engineer today, I received a notice from ACEC, which is an engineering organization, simply pointing that out and, and pointing us to the website where we could do that. I would, I would like to just ensure that we are making an effort as a city to get to those organizations so that they can send that information send out. This out. Um, Mr. Cooper? So the finance department sent something out to council members, I think on Friday, that gave a um, description of the efforts that they have um, undertaken to advertise. Um, and so that should be in your email box, but they, um, um, I, I can go through those if, if you want me to, the different things that they say that they've done. Um, so it says that they have reached out to all registered businesses who have declared their status as minority women or small uh, service disabled business to notify them of the process. So they've, they've sent something out to everybody that was on our, our list. Um, they put some, the, they are modifying the Metro procurement website to reflect the process and provide details regarding uh, firms being added to the list. And then the solicitations themselves all have information about the list and telling firms how to qualify. Thank you for that information. Council Member Sledge. Thank you, Chair. Um, I think Council referred to the letter that we got sent out, the selection process. Um, I, I wanted to ask a question about, there was a section about the bad actors portion about how how are they considered or, or kind of what I would say firewalls we have in place. And there's a, a sentence in here that says, uh, the selection process required by the procurement regulations include a number of requirements designed to ensure the selected firms are responsible offers. And then the next one says, these requirements include the submission of financial data, a list of current litigation, and a list of past licensing violations within the past five years. My question is, on those other those portions, a list of current litigation and the past licensing violations, are those self-reported, or do we, does the procurement office check against those? Mr. McGuire. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We actually have Christopher Wood here from the BAO who hopefully can shed some light on that question for us. Thank you, Sean. Uh, so on the uh, process as far as the evaluation of those firms, uh, from my knowledge, uh, th that is what is reported by any outside entity that uh, did work with them before. As far as like the, if there's any like litigation going on, or uh, lob, any type of liability that they've been held accountable for. So I want to make so that means that it would it's self-reported. Is that accurate? To my knowledge, yes. Okay. So I I would just maybe submit to the body that as we look at these processes that it seems at least that the last one the past licensing violations that that's something that could be double checked 
it with anybody who goes onto the list to see if they have committed any licensing violations because I, I wonder if somebody who's committed those violations would want to self-report them. So, thank you, Chair. Thank you. Mr. Glover? Mine, I would just like to come back at some point in the meeting and understand why we uh, uh, withdrew 149. Just, you know, are we not going to do that? Are the prisoners not going to be there? And so that's, I, I was trying to punch it before we moved to the next one, but uh, that was my question. Uh, all right. Um, is there any more questions about uh, um, this bill, uh, or resolution rather, um, 157? I, I do, uh, I know that it was uh, Council Member Sepulveda, while she's not on the committee, had questions about this, and uh, not to call you out, but uh, um, have, have you had your questions answered? Um, for the most part, yes. I, I think John has been uh, very helpful in getting those um, to Michelle Lane. I do want to look at the overall process in the future. I, I think Colby had a good point. Um, these companies, architect firms, whatnot, aren't going to report something that they are currently doing. Um, when the majority of my district works in construction, I have a responsibility to make sure that we are weeding out some of these practices that aren't working, to be frank. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I would still like a, a better process, not just periodically submitting something. I don't know if there's a, there could be a set schedule. Um, and I would really prefer if we had more details on the co companies on the front end instead of later on when they are being awarded these contracts, um, just because it, it allows us to have a little bit more of an oversight. And I understand that it's uh, more responsibility on the Office of Procurement, but I, I, I think that we owe it to our workers. So I, I'll be following up with um, Michelle Lane and the office on a later date. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you. This, this does seem like uh, if there's open questions, it would be appropriate to um, pursue maybe future legislation, but the ones that have been submitted under the current ground rules to go ahead and pass it. Um, but uh, whatever the will of the council is uh, later on tonight is fine with me. Um, seeing nobody else in the queue, uh, this resolution's been moved and properly seconded. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? All right, we recommend approval. Um, and then going back to Councilman Glover's question about 149, um, which I withdrew. Um, uh, it's my understanding that um, that legislation isn't necessary any longer to um, uh, meet the corrective action plan that the Sheriff's Department can um, meet the financial goals without the legislation and uh, subject to um, uh, doing a little bit more investigation, it, it may be reintroduced at a later time. All right, um, resolution RS 2020-162, Mendez Hancock uh, approves a grant from the Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services to the state trial courts to provide Tennessee Highway Safety Office Recovery Court enhancements to existing recovery court programs and services to improve alcohol countermeasures. Is there a motion? Move. Seeing no discussion, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. Uh, 2020, uh, resolution 2020-163, sponsor Mendez authorizes the Metro Department of Law to compromise and settle the personal injury claim of John Hunsingmeyer in the amount of $15,000. Is there a motion? Move. Any discussion? Seeing none, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. RS 2020-164 uh, sponsors Mendez and Roberts approves a contract between Metro Government and Civic Engineering and Information Technologies Inc. to provide software maintenance consisting of enterprise land management, e-permits, electronic plan, plans reviews, queue management, contractor licensing management, geographic information systems, city PLL software, and related customizations and interfaces. Um, is there a motion? 
And then I understand this one is to, we're gonna ask for a deferral for one meeting. Could we, uh, there's, this is a sole source. Um, the administration, uh, uh, we didn't get a chance to get the information about the sole source yet. We've been asked to defer for one meeting. Some, is there a second? Seeing no discussion, it's been moved for a deferral for one meeting. It's been, that's been properly seconded. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend a one meeting deferral. RS 2020-165 Mendes Hurt and Others approves a grant from the Tennessee Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to provide HIV, STI, uh, prevention, surveillance, and prep clinic services. Is there a motion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. RS 2020-166 Mendez Hurt Hancock approves a grant from the Tennessee Department of Health and the Metro Board of Health to provide public health activities to enhance the health and well-being of women, infants, and families by improving community resources and service delivery systems available to them. It's been moved and seconded. Seeing no discussion, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. RS 2020-167 Mendez Hurt Hancock approves a grant from the Tennessee Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to improve the health of the citizens of Davidson County through targeted strategies to prevent and control the use of tobacco. It's been moved and seconded. Seeing no discussion, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. RS 2020-168, Mendez Hagar Hancock approves a child and adult food care program grant from the Tennessee Department of Human Services to the Metro Parks and Recreation Department to provide nutritious meals and snacks for children attending after school programs in six park locations. Move. It's been moved and seconded. Seeing no discussion, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. RS 2020-169 Mendez Hager Hancock approves a grant from the Tennessee State Library and Archives to the National Public Library to make improvements to the archival processes, services, equipment, infrastructure, or practices to facilitate public access to records. Is there a motion? Moved. It's been moved and seconded. Seeing no discussion, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. Last item on the budget, or on the agenda, rather, is Resolution RS 2020-177. Um, Mendez is a sponsor, authorizes the Metro Department of Law to compromise and settle the personal injury claim of Uwanga Lot, Lot Carter against Metro government. Is there a motion? Moved. It's been moved and seconded. Um, Mr. Glover. I, I think you said 177. I think we're on 171, aren't we? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that again just to okay. make sure. All right. Thank you. Um, I meant to say resolution 2020-171 authorizes the uh, Department of Law to compromise and settle the personal injury claim of Ulanga Lot Carter against Metro government. It's been moved and seconded and uh, Council Member Allen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just was wondering what the consequence was for the Metro Water Services employee. We've got Mr. Honeysucker back there. Good morning, John. Good afternoon, John. Honey, Sucker Metro Water. The this is the first incident for this particular employee. So typically, on a first incident type program, he's brought in, he's counseled and coached on his action and behavior. Uh, we do also offer uh, drug testing if that's called for, and that's that's the only uh, actually disciplinary he received at this time. Okay, thank you. Seeing nobody else in the queue, this resolution has been properly moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? We recommend approval. And that's it for the Budget and Finance Committee. Thank you. This has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.org.